top three on American Idol. I'm very excited about this. I am an embarrassingly big American Idol fan. I went on an emotional journey. I spent way too much time watching it. Hello? I got by myself, Dan. Okay, Is just that, wanted to specify. I spent hours and hours of my life this year watching it. Most of 2008-9. I got chills. I yelled profanities at my TV. Probably close to 500 hours of my life. Wow. I also got to see my favorite blind friend move on to the top. Such a big fan and supporter and defender of yours, Scott, the whole season. Two months, yeah. I have been defending blind idol friend right. Scott McIntyre to the death. Should he make it to the top ten? No. 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 Yes. I think you are an inspiration. <laughs> Thank you. I cried, fully streaming, weeping tears by, by myself. Yourself. I fell in love with you from the, the Ryan Seacrest high five moment. <laughs> As you should be. Well, I'm giving you a high five. That was a big deal to people, but that must, things like that must happen to you all the time. It does happen to me all the time. It's, it's you know, and I'm the last person that would ever be offended by that. I'm going to so. give you a high five right now. Alrighty, sounds good. All right. See, we did it. So things got a little more uncomfortable when yeah. Simon advised Chris on how to get more votes from the ladies. Right. Do you remember when Simon told, asked you why you brought the wife out? Yeah. I'm not sure I would have brought the wife out so early. You never once thought, like, let's put the cute blonde wife away? She's a cute blonde. Why would you want to put her away? Do the words gorgeous girl mean anything to you? Gorgeous girl. I am gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> Gorgeous Girl was this girl in the auditions this season who was so hilarious and my favorite part of the entire season. That could run all over and over and over again, and I would never get tired of it. I'm sorry, I don't remember Gorgeous It's okay, but you do remember a new. Of course. Last night, my favorite, a new. I never knew I could be. a noob and he was singing to me. Oh, you like a noob, do you? How good a couple do you think we would make? Well, do you like crossword puzzles a lot? I think a noob would love you, actually. Really? Yeah. Noob is your boy. Like my brother. Yes, I'm married, so. Oh, okay, good. I, I do have a chance. I thought we had competition. Mine? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sarah? Oh, my God. <laughs> it's a noob. Oh, hi, noob. And I told her that, hold on, I'll take the mic from here. I told her that I could hook you up with her. I'd just like to tell you a noob that you had me at Beat It. You were the first and only person to ever say that, so thank you. Alright! Oh, what? <laughs> I don't know who let those people in here, but if you could escort them out, <laughs> I loved it! And when you got eliminated, Anoop, I actually put together a slow motion montage of your best moment. I would like to see that. Uh, yeah, I think we have a love connection here. Do you feel sparks? I not only do I feel it, but I see it. I feel like there's something here, definitely. Is this the most awkward on television moment you've ever had in your entire life? I bought a Tiger Beat magazine and I looked everywhere for your picture in it, but I couldn't find it. So instead, I'm going to ask you to sign a picture of Chris yeah, Allen def for me. Definitely. You know what? Can, can I can I tell you something? I sign pictures of Chris Allen all the time. I knew it. Why? You were a teeny bop loving <gasps> preteen. No. I am going to ask you to sign it, but there's yeah. no point seeing as we're going to be lovers for the rest of time. Yeah. You, you can get, get a signed, you know, copy of our picture together. The first picture we take together, I'll sign it. You were always if hypothetically you were to serenade me, what song would you choose? Uh, I'll make love to you, boys to men. Oh. And with that, I think you and I can... Make our exit. Shut the, the camera guys. Shut the cameras off. Yeah, okay. <laughs> there you go. That yeah. Was cute. Um, so here's the deal. We're taping a huge Hills special with some of our favorite Hills cast members. Uh, maybe Kristen Cavallari will be stopping by. Um, email MTV After Show at MTV.ca for tickets. Hopefully we'll see you there. Mm -hmm, it's happening this Friday evening. Mm -hmm. MTV News is next with Perez Hilton on the VMAs. And tonight at 11, Monine performs on MTV Live. They're pretty amazing. You don't want to miss that. We will see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, everybody. Bye. Bye.